Hey everyone and anyone, this is y'all from Zial Gaming, etc. And welcome back to Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Da 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 da. Last time, oh lord, were mistakes made. <laughs> uh, Zial spent some time in the clink, um, which unfortunately I had to make a pact with a devil to get out, which was just awesome, let me tell you. Uh, and Seamus wandered around going, hey, what's going on? And, uh, yes, and it seems that, um, good lord, uh, Zandalor's trunks, uh, somebody commented, I believe, uh, <laughs> the fact that they might be talking to me, uh, or the voice that I'm randomly hearing might be coming from my underwear. So, obviously, that can't change until it has to, for stat reasons, because it's awesome. Anyway, I gotta remember, Seamus is the talker. Oh, yeah, and I definitely, my role-playing ways screwed me over a little bit when it came to, uh, talking to the Fabulous ah, Five. You return and humble. This jackass. I mean, bad guy. I'm sure he's a wonderful individual. Anyway, screw him. Screw everything. Let's find out. We've got a murder to solve, okay? So we're going to the scene of the crime. The King's Crab Inn. Mmm... Now this, this place brings back memories. Oh my good man! Mm. Drink, you please. Who's this at please the bar? Do keep shouting in my ear. Back, demon! Back or I'll. Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Madara, you lummox! A thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear is edgier than a dodecahedron these days. <laughs> I'll tell you. It sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain more truce my regards next time you see him. What did you say you were? I don't they recognize you from the Academy. To ancient you wouldn't. Fun. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Madar is the name. Retired. Or so the order keeps trying to tell me. But never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. I had heard of another source center being assigned the side seal. What are you doing here? Heavens, hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern me. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. The ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases. And a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. Oh, I love Bedora's new voice acting. It's like, I'm just expecting her to say, Sucker, any minute now. I came south seeking the Legion's help. Only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward. And even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. She's got a brand new story. Yeah, except when one changes. Orcs attacked your village? How'd you manage to escape? By the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villages when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. What's your next plan of attack? Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. Oh? I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. Hmm. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. So that's your proposition. You help us here in Sicil, and we help you take back your home village afterward. Thereafter. Well, you know the old expression. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. And the orcs up north will be short work for a trained up trio of sauce hunters. I have never heard that expression. Ha! The closest I've come to my Uh, Seamus is all about the camaraderie. 
A fantastic plan. With three source hunters working in tandem, we'll put an end to all the evils bent against this fair land. Um, Zial realizes uh, she's not as strong as she was, and the door looks tough. Another source hunter on the team will make us all the more formidable against this wicked magic. Welcome aboard, Medora. That's the spirit. Listen closely now. Do you hear it? That's the sound of every orc and sorcerer in a hundred mile radius shaken in his wee boots. Mm. Okay. Do I seem like the sort who concerns myself with such things? Medora is a abilities. Let's check her out. She is rocking the two handers. She is bodybuilding, which uh, helps against things. Man at arms. She's better at, than Seamus at that. Um, she's definitely got the fighter thing down. No crafting, no nasty deeds. She's basically exactly what you're looking for when it comes to um, just having a pretty kick-ass uh, two-hander fighter in there. Uh, comeback kid. Alistair, have oh, ever had the that's cool. It comes with that. Opportunist is tight. Oh, what a rush. Ah, so there you go. So she gets tougher as time goes on. She also comes with a couple health potions, which is fantastic. Okay, so let us look around just a little bit more. And I wonder if this person is even going to talk to us, considering. Uh, what have we here? A source hunter, is it? Well, my day just became rather more stimulating. Oh, stand still then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good long look at the so called savior of Sicile. Take a nice long look, baby. Tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face. Quite classical, isn't it? Statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy as marble, yet fine as a chisel's edge. Why, thank you. And my word, what passion burns from your eyes. Please forgive my being forward, but I... I dare say, can it be? You... Well, you're exactly the person I've been searching for. Hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about yourself? I am Anna, jewel in the crown that is the fabulous five. I've cut a thousand throats and baked a thousand bread rolls, stolen the crown jewels of the Queen of Arata, and with my pockets full, helped her reach enlightenment. When the day comes that I die, the gods will evacuate the heavens to make space for my formidable collection of designer slippers. Okay. I contain multitudes, you see, and I am utterly replete. Except that, much to my dismay, I had as yet to find the companion to whom my heart so clearly calls. Aww. But then, Source Hunter, you wandered into this tavern, and I... Oh, I am most certain that that companion is you. You're searching for someone. That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like if you could only fill a certain void, could connect with the right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling vistas. I believe I have found that component, that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, if ever we are to be united, we must truly entwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. <laughs> yes, you must join the Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. Together, as a team, we'll explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate, inch by inch. <laughs> Already refused to join, but darling, didn't you... Uh, how can we... Re refused? Oh, a plague on both our houses. For now, we may never link our destinies. Oh, shucks. Away from me now, oh perfect specimen. Torment me no further. But if you happen to meet more able-bodied, agile-minded adventurers, don't hesitate to uh, <clears throat> send them my way. A woman can only mourn for so long. My only one. Ah. <laughs> uh, before she used to be kind of uh, merchanty. 
Well, probably because I didn't join the Fabulous Five. Sorry, I've run out of signed handkerchiefs. An Alistair Keyring, maybe. In any case, make it quick. You're not the only fan who wants some of my time. Anything interesting on this homeboy? Nah, not so much. I say homeboy way too much. I don't know why. What do you mean, not familiar? You expect me to believe you've never heard of Alistair the Almighty? No, you haven't. Why, I'm only the most famous wizard this side of the distance. Although, it'd be worth checking the other side too, just in case. <laughs> and don't forget, I'm the most eminent member of the Fabulous Five to boot. Surely you already know we've been voted the most influential adventurers guild by SideQuest Monthly. Three years running. No way, SideQuest Monthly? Oh my god, imagine if you got the cover. Those nasty beasts are hardly worth my time. Though I suppose I'll step in if none of the recruits manage to prove adept enough to handle a few skeletons. Uh, let's just find out his thoughts. Your interest that is peaked, five. I see. I'd suggest you have a chat with Mendius outside. He's in charge of recruitment and other such drudgery. Drudgery. A word of warning, though. We only accept the best and the brightest. By the looks of you, I'm not sure you'll make the cut. Da 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 da. And I... <laughs> okay. Well... Obviously, I screwed the pooch on that one, so that is a no-go. Uh, pointless chatter with strangers does so thrill me. How did you know? Please can talk curious oh, or show interest in a lonesome stranger at the bar. Let me answer by saying that who I am is hardly any of your business, and anyone with an ounce of tact would have known that already. <laughs> can I tell you? I suppose I can, and I could. Why would I turn my attention away from this whiskey when Mendius right outside is simply panting with excitement about the whole affair? Okay, Fabulous Vibe seems to be pretty useless to me now. Yay! That's just Citizen. Citizen number five. Be a ah, to welcome to the King Crab Inn, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. Do you work for a trio of sailors? Three hopeless sailors. Truly wish I could help you, but I'm barely keeping afloat as it is. Nah. What do you know about Jake's murder? Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Hmm, tell me about the night of the murder. That room where it happened. It was rented to a certain woman, though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. Dear brothel? She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. Mm. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window. But I saw nearly a saw when I looked out. You can bet I tailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Do you suspect anyone? Councillor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Hmm. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell, a high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. How's business? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the, uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that pinch. Hmm. Okay. Well, we found out some more information about the meta. Okay. A little save just in case because I have a, one of those feelings. Uh, 
This is the sign of seeing the crime. Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. Son of a... Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't seem to remember that from last time. Uh, well, since I'm already here at the King Crab Inn, let's see if there's anything else that we can do. Nice. Moody undead. Remember above all to stay behind the wall, we tell our children. You heed them words, Sauce Hunter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting person. Hmm. Sharif's bodyguard. What makes you need a bodyguard? Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. Traveling merchant? That I am. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home. For a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Hmm, let's discuss your wares. You have seen them, have you not? Is anything amiss? So you have a lot of items related to witchcraft. Do you have an affinity for the dark arts? A ponchon, perhaps, yes. I have the blood of sorcerers in my veins, and between you and me, the blood of sorcerers too. The power of sorcery is so very alluring, you know. But let us change topics, for should hunters catch a whiff of my inclinations, they wouldn't hesitate to kill me where I stand. <laughs> well, we happen to be source hunters. We happen to be source hunters, actually, and we will most certainly kill you where you stand. Uh, no. Indeed, we will not. As long as she doesn't give in to her inclinations, she has done nothing wrong. Just beware that you don't, milady. Ah, uh, have it your way. <laughs> not, uh, not role-playing reason. I'm not going to kill off the trainer who has some stuff for character I have. Fine, have it your way. Er, God have gobble. mercy. I talked openly Darn about it. sorcery in front of a source hunter. What a fool I am. Thank you, oh compassionate soul that you are, to treat me so leniently. I never have and never will really dabble in sorcery. On that you have my word. On my life, I swear it. What's well, grand? No need to worry, source hunter dearest. You'll find no sorcery here. Only honest to God's witchcraft. Oh, that's comforting. How so, gratifying so okay, to cool. see you return. You so yeah, we got ourselves the merchant, and I haven't really gone over the um, skill books. Pretty much the way it works is that as you gain your levels, uh, you're gonna have to buy your skills. You're not just gonna get handed to them. What do you think this is? Uh, a modern RPG? <laughs> they don't just hand it out like crazy. You gotta buy that skill book, son, and it's gonna cost you some money. And as you can see, there's some cool stuff here for um, basically characters. Although there's a lot of things for level 3 um, that obviously in level 6, looks like level 3 and then I believe 6 is the next uh, tier, if you will. I'm not even level 3. I'm terrible and such. I was also going to say, finally, okay, cool, this, this is cool. You can switch between characters a lot easier this way. Let's, uh, since I haven't, how much is Lore Master 5? How much costs to identify these boots, say? 19 gold? Uh, we could do it better ourselves. I think, at least. Um, but I'm trying to see, do I need to pick up anything? It's always worthwhile to have a couple lockpicks on you. Um, I feel it's always a good idea. And I guess we'll pay forward with some outdated bastard swords. And other things that I've found upon my travels, if you will. Is a better dagger than the other one? Nice, yeah. And... 
Lockpicks. How much is one? 47. All right, so let's grab a couple. Doo -doo -doo. Let's save three. Match the offer. And there we go. So now we have a chance to break into some buildings when the time comes. Um, beyond that, I'm going to wait until I'm actually the level that I need to be. Oh, the Trap Disarm Kit is not a bad idea, just in case it's in a terrible location. Um, you, can, you can't just, like, throw a barrel on it or something. Oh, that's so expensive. Never mind. <laughs> I'm throwing barrels on them. Um, so that is that. And we got to find ourselves a lore glass. So, to that end, I'll take my leave. And I think there's some more things. Well, we're exploring the, this area here, so let's just explore while we can. You're just a citizen. Hmm. Somebody else's room. Like, Glanders. What's going on in here? Oh, just a room. Uh, time honor tradition of sneaky, sneaky, steal what I can. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Three lockpicks, three cloth scraps. Huzzah. Space bar for auto looting. We have none of that. No. Oh, what? How did you find me? Oh, no. All right. Well, sorry. <laughs> Quick save. Oh, well. Sneaking failed. We got to upgrade that sneak. It seems to be a heck of a lot more sensitive because I didn't see myself being visible, if you will. Um, before, uh, can I just shut this door because I don't freaking enter here? Hey, everything's fine here. Don't come in. Do 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 do. Empty potion bottle. <laughs> I I just love the sneaking um thing. Okay, but. There is a locked door here, so we're going to attempt to Careful, use... Careful, comrade. I think I sense a sorcerer in yonder shadows. <laughs> okay. We'll talk to you. We'll talk to Mendora a little later. She is a lot of fun, but I did not mean to click on to her. Um, all right. Come on with that lockpick skill, which I'm giving myself one in lockpicking before it gets any further, because I want to make sure... Have a chance to steal properly. Oh! <laughs> and just like, oh, but I think it doesn't consume the lockpicks now because I only had two and I got one more. So it doesn't consume the lockpicks if you do not open the door. Okay, that's cool. That's a nice change. Um, these are all worthwhile changes. Okay, so the top floor of the King's Crab in. Oh, wait. Okay. We gotta wait for the patrols because the sacred art of how you earn money uh, in Divinity Original Sin is right. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. This here painting of a landscape. Okay, they're worth worth a pretty penny. Exactly. And so the idea is that that's something that I probably won't be showing on camera. Um, it, 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 you can make it a fun game. Just be like, where did all the paintings go? Um, because, oops, there was one up there. Let's see if I can find a way to it. Nope, nope. Shh. Nothing's happened. It's all good. Gotta be sneaky. But the idea is that stealing every painting that has ever existed ever is a great way of making some dosh. Oh, okay. Well. Maybe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just a barrel here. Yep. All right. And I think the best thing is, is that now this may have changed, which I'm going to laugh at. Um, but it might be entirely possible to sell it directly to kind of the people who would own the place, if you will. So let's test that, that theory. Hey, come here. How can I help you? All right. Hey, I just got this amazing artwork, and I think it's just uh, bees knees. What do you think about it? Yeah, he accepts my offer. <laughs> so yeah, you can still basically take what you want, sell right back to the person you stole it from. 
Uh, before we head on out to anywhere else, let's see what's in this here basement. Who the hell's got a poisonous trap in their basement? <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. We have a door. Lots of rats. Hmm. Okay. Seamus, time for you to go go low. Well, maybe not Seamus. I think is Vandoran stronger? Mandora, not Vandoran. Oh, we're both the same strength at the moment, okay. Seamus. You take this barrel and put it over here. Oops. 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 Okay. Now move on out of here. Back on my feet. Back on my feet again. And see y'all. Time to explore things in here. Oh God Almighty! <laughs> I forgot about that. And I did not see the trap line. I guess my perception is just not high enough for that. So <laughs> Here comes the old Resurrect Scroll. Uh, do I still have that here? Find someone who has one. Uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to call it here uh, for this video as I find the Resurrect uh, Scroll. Oh, God. Is it? So it's going to be on this. And then Seamus has to use it. We'll cast a spell. Let's go over here. Don't die. Okay, there we go. So, that might have been a terrible idea, actually. They might just have to... I don't know. We'll have to find out next episode how uh, Zial gets through the trap of the door. Uh, I believe that trap is gone now, but I'm not positive on the fact. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, uh, please consider leaving a like, only if you enjoy, that is. And please subscribe if uh, you want to see more Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition content. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.